Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. Please put a like and subscribe if you are new. Also go over to my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot, where you can get daily collective readings. My readings always start on the 30 minute mark. You can come in earlier if you wanna wait, chat with everyone, but they always start at the 30 minute mark, so just pop in at the 30 minute mark. The reading will begin. All right, let's get into your reading. All right, Virgo, welcome back, welcome back. Okay, well wait, is it Halloween? Or is Halloween over? Oh wait, no, it's Halloween. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Come in, days all mixed up. All right, let's get in. This is strictly love. We're just getting into love. You guys are going to change the format a little bit and see how we're going to do. As soon as I get my new set, we're going to start changing the days up. We're going to look at love one day. And then we're going to look at like life stuff. And then we're going to take a look at money one day, career, finances, all that stuff. So yeah, let's try to switch it up a little bit. You know, you know how we do. All right, but today we're looking at love. Let's see what the love stuff is. What's going on with your partner, with your person? With this relationship or this, maybe it's a situation ship. I don't know what you got going on. Okay, there you go. Straight out the gate. We've got love. Boom, boom, boom. Unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. Okay, all right, okay. And just so you know, I did purchase this deck in white, so it's coming. Okay, um, should be here soon. Hopefully, that should make it easier to see. You also have seduction. Okay, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference. Okay, you've got a lover trying to seduce you. November, what's going on in November? Oh, you've got the golden mirror again. Self-absorbed narcissist. One-sided relationship love bombing. That's it. You know what? I'm done. <coughs> just, it's always in your readings, Virgo. Nobody else's readings, right? It's just you. Just you and them narcs. I don't know what the hell you're doing. I don't know what's going on. What is going on, Virgo? You just, you just attract them, Virgo. I guess you just, all right, we're just doing it. Just get into it. just started so good it just was so like feeling so positive just feeling so positive okay okay I don't even want to but like I just don't even want to but okay okay whatever all right we're just doing it what's going on this person they're coming in here just like to love bomb you to seduce you okay probably because you don't want anything to do with them and you're ignoring them you're just like forget it get away from me that kind of energy okay ten of pentacles two of cups oh shit wasn't this in your reading yesterday um okay hold on you guys this person, let me tell you what, you are my everything. I want to build a family. I want to place roots. You're my 1111. You're my spirit flame, my twin soul. You're my mirror. That's the mirror, the golden mirror. When I see myself, I see myself in your eyes. That's because every time you look at me, you only see yourself. <laughs> this is... This is bullshit. This is just BS. Okay. This is this is you falling in love with someone who is just razzle dazzle. They that they just gave me that word, the razzle dazzle. This is the person who basically comes in and is like, You're everything I've ever wanted. You are so amazing. This person puts you on a high like you have never been on before. If you have never met this person, and you feel this way with someone, they are charming the pants off of you. That is not what it is supposed to feel like. <laughs> this is not what it is supposed to like. It's okay to get like little butterflies and it's okay to get little, you know, little silly, happy little feelings like, ooh, nice little things, but you should not be getting that super high. Like, no, 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 no. That's 
no, that's not, yeah, not like you feel, because you're going to crash. You know what I mean? This, like if, if, I can't even with this reading. This person is trying to manifest your vision of them, okay? Not, <laughs> this is what this person, look at this. Look at this. Do you see what I'm talking about? Love Bomb City. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. So, oh, they're coming in as a healer. They might even be famous. So they might even just put you up on a pedestal. You're going to like have stars in your eyes around this person. Oh Lord, help Virgo. Help this Virgo. Who gets around this person. They are charming. Oh yes. Oh yes. This person has like a light shining behind them. This is like Jesus coming down from the heavens. You're going to be in awe by this person. They might even think they're God. I want you to think that. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've been looking and waiting for you forever. Listen, all of this would be so amazing. It really would. But in a healthy way, if it wasn't for this seduction and this narcissist, self-absorbed, one-sided BS, okay? Because this person is coming in to seduce you. And why? Because they're narcissistic. Because they're trying to get something from you. And these are the tactics that they're using. Why does love have to be like this? This is not love. That's why. This is almost a warning. So, who are they? Aquarius, perhaps? Could be an Aquarius. Oh my goodness, there we go. I just... Yeah, look, they have no intention of having any kind of growth, planting any kind of seeds with you. When that Ace of Wands is in the reverse, that's not good. That's delay. That's rejection. False starts, delays, and brutality. Yes, control. This is kind of an energy where this person comes in and gets you all excited, takes you up on the highest mountain, and then says, okay, I'll be right back. I'm going to go down to the bottom of the mountain, and I'm going to get everything we need so we can stay up on this mountain for as long as, I, as, long as we can. And I'll be back real soon. And then they leave you up there and they don't come back. And you're stranded. This is one of those situations where they the false starts. They give you all these promises. This is what I feel is happening here. Anybody that's like you first meet. Some of you might already be familiar with this energy. Some of you have already been down this road. And you're already like, I, I know exactly what you're talking about, Cal. And... <laughs> I know these people, I'm, I can see them coming from a mile away. And some of you don't even are aware of this. So sometimes you could be aware of it and you get caught off guard. You got to pay attention to yourself, like kind of be like, oh, wait, no, I felt like this before. And it didn't turn out well the last time or last few times. Okay. So when that Ace of Wands is in the reverse, that's not a good sign. Because, yeah, that makes me feel like this person will then just, the, this is the one who goes ghost after, you know, because I get the calls, you know, everything was going so great and we were heading in this great direction and we were talking all the time and, you know, it, I don't know what happened. And she or he just disappeared. They just fell off the face of the earth. Now, like, like a healthy relationship is not, um, it's not. The pendulum doesn't swing too far to the left, too far to the right. It kind of stays somewhat centered. And it's somewhat consistent, you know? It's not too too many steps ahead and too many steps behind. It's, it's somewhat consistent. And it's slow and it's progressive and it's steady paced. You know, it's a little bit each day. It's not too much all at once or hardly enough, you know? So... I kind of feel like this is the energy of this person coming in or because, well, yeah, for some of you, you're already dealing with this person and it's like, yeah, that's it. And for others, that two of cups is new love. So pay attention in November. It's cuffing season. You might be connecting with somebody new, even the ace of cups is new love. So, but it's new and they start off 
a real super excited. You, could, you might work with them. You could meet them somewhere. They could be a real healer. There might be a connection to um, like family, know them from your hometown, or they live in your area. You meet them at some kind of event, a party. Maybe, maybe you met them already at like a Halloween party. <clears throat> Or some kind of party coming up in November. Yeah. Yeah, here's eight. Look. Three of swords. So, I just kind of feel like keep your eyes and ears peeled with this person. Or at least these types of people. Let me see if I can get a court card and try to narrow down who it might be. Spirit. Until Virgo. Actually, we're going to do it this way. I'm not going to get a court card. I'm just going to give you a sign. It's weird. It's a Scorpio. I'll show you so you can see. Yeah. Okay, for some of you, it's a Scorpio. Who else? Alright. For some of you, it's a Taurus. Oh, yep. Yeah. Best two out of three. Scorpio. Oops, can't show it. Okay, so keep your keep your eyes and eel, eels your eyes and eels peeled for this type of person coming in. <clears throat> and please don't message me in the chat. It's not my Scorpio. I know my Scorpio. My Scorpio is great. Well, I'm not talking to you. Then I'm not talking to you. If you know this is not your person, and you know your person. <laughs> okay, whatever you say. I'm not going to argue with you. <laughs> it's a general reading. Don't get upset. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's take a look at you, Virgo. Let's just take a look at you. Well, actually, no. They just said, I want to see what this person's going to do. If Virgo just rejects them. Oh. <laughs> oh, Okay. The Virgo doesn't try to chase them or try to, so like if this person rejects you Virgo and you don't like try to call them or you don't try to text them or you don't try to find out where they are, you know, if you don't get like, if you don't become like a crazy Karen or crazy Kathy or whatever, or crazy Carl, because I got to include some of the guys in here too, or crazy Ken, whichever, um, They will just be like, okay, I'll just move on and try to love bomb others, right? And I hate to tell you that if you fell in love with this person because that's a harsh truth. Because people like this, um, they don't have that empathy thing going on, you know? So you do, and that hurts. I know that hurts you, but this, this person is like about as empathetic as a, as a dishwasher, you know what I mean? Like, they're cold. <coughs> They're cold. They have cold empathy. You know? If anything, they could probably mimic empathy, but they really don't feel that inside. Um, I think, I think, yeah, they would be pretty much like, you have the emotional intelligence, intelligence of like a garden hose, I'd say. Like the water just comes out, but there's like no, no reason for it. <clears throat> it's just there. <clears throat> so, yeah, I feel like this person will just kind of, shuffle on out to the next group of social events or you know whoever else is you know they'll just make that decision to just you know okay well just kind of block you just be like okay well there's others around that they'll they will praise them that's just it there you go that will praise them i mean listen even if you were to listen all right if you were this person is always going to have fans because they're so charming that they're always going to find ways to get people to there's always going to there's there's a fan everywhere for someone always Virgo even you have fans you don't even know it I mean you could just go to the grocery store you know I don't know go to Walmart buy yourself like 10 plug-in fans there you have fans everybody has access to fans whether they're people I don't care everybody's got a fan somewhere so 
you're not less if you if you don't have any fans you know what i mean people everybody loves somebody so i feel like it's nothing for you to even feel like and this person just they cheese for fans they go out of the way they they need attention they need to have people around them that are like supporting them and praising them but they don't really i feel like they don't really give anything back they don't they just they just give to get they don't really this is somebody who just ends up alone you know what i mean and and unless they have like um unless they have a scrooge moment like i always talk about where the you know the ghost of death comes to show them what their future is going to look like <laughs> you know what i mean like desolate and all alone and they they actually wake up i mean garden hoses don't care if they freeze out in the middle of the winter you know what i mean like i just kind of feel like it's pathetic it's kind of pathetic you know you have you have you, if your heart is breaking over a person like this, just give your time, just let your heart heal. Just let your heart heal. Because you're not going to be the one to suffer in the end. Trust me. You might be alone for a little while. But that's a protective thing and that's okay because you need to have that for yourself. Yeah, take the time alone to grieve. You need to do that. Interesting. Five of Pentacles in the reverse. This feels like hope will come back for you and you'll recover from this. If you were deep with this person, for those of you who just get discouraged because somebody kind of brought you up to the top of that hill and then left you up there, you know, Jack and Jill went up the hill, but Jack rolled down and left Jill up there, um, climbed down that hill. You might be a little discouraged, but you know, take a little time to yourself and then get back out there, you know, whether, whether you were in deep with this person, you come to realize that they really just weren't worth it. Trust me, they'll be back again, but you'll be better for it. And if this is the second or third time that they're coming back again and you get caught up, so be it. Lesson learned. You learn. And if you get caught up, then, you know, you're quicker to recover from it. Um, if you just deny them and just are like, I'm not interested, what will they do? They'll just say, okay, and they'll go and get their kicks elsewhere. And it's not because the person didn't love you. It's because they weren't capable of loving you. There's, it's not like, I feel like you asked, maybe you asked the wrong question. It's, it's not that the question can't be answered. It's just asking the wrong question. It's because you ask, well, didn't they love me? Well, it's when you can't ask that question to someone that's, that's like trying to say, that's like trying to ask if your garden hose loves you. Like the, you're asking the wrong question because a garden hose isn't capable of love. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Garden hose is only capable of delivering water. <laughs> it's not capable of loving you. So you can't even take it personally. Hmm. Well, that turned out interesting, didn't it? Yeah, that turned out interesting. So what now for Virgo? What now? I mean, so for some of you, this is new, somebody new coming in. For some of you, this is somebody that's just ding dong ditching on your doorbell once again. And that's really actually just a small percentage of you. To be honest with you, I don't feel like that's a lot. It, it might be like 2% of you are getting the ding dong door bell ditch thing. I don't feel like that's a lot of you. I feel like a, the majority of you, or this is somebody new coming in, and it's just, uh, yes, they're saying yes. And I feel like a lot of you might be on dating sites meeting these types of people. And I can tell you something. Yeah, you need to put an end to that because that's where they kind of hang out. Yeah, they're mostly on those sites, these types of people. That's like, they wear name tags. Hi, my name is so-and-so and I'm a narcissist. Yeah, they all hang out there. That's where they, that's like, um, it's a little club, did you know? 
Yeah, so when you go on there, you're pretty much saying, hi, my name's X and X, and I'm part of the club too, which means I can handle this. That's pretty much what you're telling them. And they expect you to want to hook up. That's what the seduction card is here. When you go on those dating sites, for the most part, um, the message that you're sending, really, the underlying message is, I'm perfectly fine with you tempting me, with you flirting with me, if you have a significant other, with you hooking up with me with no commitment, and being involved in a third-party affair. I'm also okay with um, exclusive relationships. I'm also okay with um, committed relationships, but I'm willing that, you know what I mean? Because these types of people on those dating sites think in their mind, um, they already know that most people that go on dating sites are looking for long-term relationships, one-on-one, -on -one, exclusive, but they're so good at um, manipulating and charming that they, because they know that's what you want, they will tell you that that's what they're looking for too. But they really say that up front to try to get you to open up to them so that, and then they get in and then they play the game and to get what they want and then they leave. Oh, it's all game. It really is. Um, and if you go on there saying that you're not looking for a long term, you're looking for a hookup, then you're pretty much shooting yourself in the foot. So it really doesn't really work. I, finding someone on those dating sites, it's, it's not impossible that is looking for a long term thing, but you're better off finding someone that's willing to pay a shit ton of money to get one and you too or um there might be like a needle in the haystack finding someone it's not it's not impossible it does happen but yeah i don't know i just think that there's a lot more a lot more buzzing bees on those dating sites and so if you're on there you're gonna find a, you're gonna find a lot more of them believe it or not yeah 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 so I know some of you are have already like got off of that I know some of you told me I talked to a lot of you and you're just like I don't even go on those stupid things anymore they're horrible you see a lot of those especially like no offense but most of the people here on my channel are women I see like so many guys I've seen on there I've had the same damn profile photo up for like three years five years 10 years, 15 years, <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> this is retarded. Like, just go meet somebody in real life. Like, you're, you're just, you're a geek. You're a nerd. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, anyway, Virgo's moving on. Yes. Virgo is moving on. that just popped up and then flip back in I think you're hiding I think you don't want to let anybody know like you are fierce right now making some lifestyle changes for sure you're switching things around for you coming out of your comfort zone in your life you're just doing things differently Virgo and I saw that in one of your readings last week I think I've got it here I think pinned is it pinned it was pinned in yesterday's reading at the end of the video that are one of them that you were doing things differently, doing life differently. So I, I just, I've been getting a lot of good energy about you lately. Like you're just really not taking any shit from anybody anymore. You're just living your best life and you're no longer searching for that end result. Just enjoying the journey, wherever the road takes you, wherever you end up. Look at that. <coughs> rainbows and all wherever you end up that's where you're meant to be and it's like you're not in a rush you're just enjoying life as you go which i feel like that's the better journey that's the better path to take because you're not in a rush to get to the end line but the majority of you are pretty much in your 30s and 40s moving on up to your 50s right so a lot of you have already been there done that so it's good. All right, let me see. What else do you have going on here? 
Okay, yep, you've got new plans that are evolving going forward. So, okay. I just feel like you're putting things kind of into practice. But, <clears throat> like, you're writing stuff down, you're making plans, maybe for the new year. But I don't feel like you're telling anybody. I feel like you're doing this kind of like hush hush. Like you're kind of building in silence, not letting anybody know. And things are starting to evolve around you. You're not really saying too much. Or you're not letting anyone know what you're doing. <laughs> the past returns and you put that right back into the past. You don't want that anymore. You got new plans, doing new stuff. Yeah, you got like a new passionate start here in your life. Something that you enjoy doing, maybe some hobbies or just something that sets your soul on fire. But I don't feel like you're saying anything to anybody. Maybe one or two people, but you're really not putting it out there. You could just be starting to do something a little creative or Maybe you're just getting into something, you're just thinking about something that you really want to get into, thinking about how you want to do it, what you want to do. The past is trying to pull you back and saying, no, don't do it, stay where you are, don't get into this, don't get into this, but you're just kind of itching for some new, I don't know, flavors to add to the pot, I feel. Got a little itch that you want to scratch here in your life. Yeah, you might be hearing a little opposition. Like, so when I say the past returns, it could be like voices in your head from your old, old tapes in your head telling you you can't do something, you can't do this. Like some of you might, maybe you're like up in age and you just decide you want to run a marathon. And your body or your <laughs> the doctor's like you can't do it you know or you got like people who are jealous of you with something that you want to do and they tell you you're too old or maybe you've got like family members who are just like no don't do this because then you're gonna wind up i don't know having to leave for a little while like there's there's stuff you got i feel like you want to do there's things you want to do and and you got these plans and ideas yeah and new new and and you're pushing the past away those whatever it is that's trying to hold you back mm -hmm. but it's coming like the opportunity is coming in november look at that hitting rock bottom in the in reverse yeah see you're not you're that's your mindset you know what i'm not done i'm not down and out yet that's your thing and that's why i feel like your your men like your mental state is kind of like you know what i am not i'm not too old for this i'm not i'm not finished yet mm -mm. i'm not like if somebody tried to take me out in the past oh they got another thing coming i just heard that judas priest song in my head if you think i'll sit around waiting to be done you think i'll let it do, 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 do. i don't forget the words <laughs> You got another thing coming. That's a song I'll get you going. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going to put that on tonight. Yes. That song. You got another thing coming. Yep. That's your song. That's, I'm going to title this. Oh yes. That's the title. Let me write that down because I'm going to forget. Everybody's got another thing coming if they think Virgo is not going to get something done. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> you got another thing coming boy <laughs> girl if you think i'm gonna sit around waiting to be found i think you got another you got another thing coming that's it <laughs> i'm aging myself i don't even care i don't even care okay yeah virgo nothing's gonna keep you down here i feel like if you got some kind of selfish narc or some some person who's in and out of your life whether it's a romantic partner or a friend or 
family member or somebody that just keeps coming in with these false starts, false promises, they're going to do this, going to do that, and then they just leave you like, boy, bye, girl, bye. I can do all that myself. You know, I don't need you around. Yeah. That's, that's, you just on your game. You're on your A game. Virgo's like, I can run this whole team by myself. I do not need you. Listen, I can manage, I can coach, I can catch, and I can throw, and I can run that ball right into the end zone all by myself, and I do not need your ass coming in here saying, let me do it, let me do it, when your ass is on that bench all season long. No. <laughs> yes. Virgo got it. Virgo's got it. Virgo has got it. Okay. And you do have a new love start. Look, new plans, new passions start, new love start. You got a lot of stuff going on here. And I feel like for you, as always, whenever the readings start out with this dumb junk, this dumb mother junker is what I want to call it, whoever this person is, I always feel like... <laughs> Virgo's just like, just keep your shit to yourself. I, I'm like, ain't nobody got time for that. I just always feel like that's your energy. Like, I never feel like you're just down and out. I always feel like, Virgo, you were born with the bloody stumps. I always feel like that. I just do. I don't know why. I just don't know why. I don't know if it's just you haven't uncovered it or you just, or you have uncovered it. And, and some of y'all just haven't spoken out and I've been speaking for you, you know, but I feel like most of you, I, I just feel like you, you've been walking around with like, you're, I don't know if you're afraid to use your knives. Some people, I don't know, like you're afraid to get like all Brittany with the knives or something. Please don't knife anybody, caveat. But you know what I mean? Like, people respect you. People will respect you when you stand up for yourself. You've got to stand up for yourself. You can't be nice all the time. You, can, I mean, nice people finish last. You just have to be firm with people. You ever notice when you just stand up for yourself, people are like, whoa, sorry. <laughs> The more nice you are to people, the more of a doormat you are, and the more people walk all over you. And it's just like, ew. It's people pleasing. If you're like that, snap out of it. Snap out of it. All right. You're Chinese. Somebody else is Chinese. I don't know if you even care whoever this person is, but we've got you the rooster. Oh, how about Matthew Perry? I'm so... Oh, I'm so sad. I heard about that last night. I just could not even believe it. Now, listen, I was not, I didn't watch Friends. My husband, he was a Friends fan. I was more Seinfeld, but I loved Matthew Perry. I watched all the movies he was in. I mean, he was just funny, Chandler. I loved him. I did think he was funny, though. Him and Joey were hilarious on Friends, but I wasn't a big, like, Friends fan. I didn't, like, I didn't sit by the TV every night and watch it. Um, but, oh, yeah, that was kind of a shocker because he's the last person I expected to go. I just totally didn't think that. Um, I mean, I knew he had problems and everything, and I knew that he had, like, been struggling, and I think he had recovered, and I just, you know, just didn't think it would, was going to be him. It was kind of a shocker. He was young, youngish still, you know. <sighs> so sad. You're the rooster, and, and he was on the cusp of Leo Virgo. August 19th, I think he was, and he was a rooster. So you're the rooster, you're of the horse. You got you're of the ox, so this could be you, Virgo. You're of the pig. You're of the dog. You're of the rat. You're of the rabbit. And you're of the dragon. Hey, you guys, if you wanna get a personal reading with me, November, 30 minute readings are discounted half price so they're 99 bucks so if you want to book with me get to it and do it i'm going to leave it that price all through november and december um, 30 minute phone call reading just remember if you book with me 
um, make sure that you can accept no caller ID, private number phone calls, or you'll have to reschedule, okay? Um, so yeah. All right, let me get you, I switched up my cards. I can't wait to get my new decks for you guys because I'm like super bored with these cards. I don't know. Do you guys pull tarot cards? I mean, as much as I do. Do you ever get bored with seeing cards all the time? I do like, let me just tell you what, for the whole week I do three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifteen, sixty, seven, eight, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. I do about 40 readings a week. I don't know if you do that many, but times a month times four 40 times four that's a lot of reading so yeah i'm kind of bored of my cards all right let's see i need to switch up my decks all right what do we have here okay someone is 33 and someone was born september 3rd september 11th oh we also have the number 333 Someone was born in May. We have a May birthday, so it could be a Gemini or Taurus. We have a November birthday. Um, November would be... Uh, Scorpio Sagittarius, I believe. Okay. Okay, we have the initial C... We have the initial E, and we have the initial V, as in Victor, or Victoria. Okay, let me get a couple of more. Let's see if we can get a name. Oh, we've got, oh, we have October 10th, they just said. Significant day for someone. Okay, so we got the name Dave, or David, they just said. David, Dave, someone is famous. Fame makes a man take things over. Fame. Who sings that? Mm, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, we have Demi, or yeah, Dem, Demi. Emma, I just heard Emma. Okay. Mama, someone calls someone Mama. Okay, so the letter F is in Frank. We have M. Oh, someone works for FEMA. Okay, FEMA. It's all right. <clears throat> we have uh, Steph. I just heard Steph, like Stephanie. Steph. Okay. Cool. All right, let me get a charm for you guys. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, this is almost camouflage. I almost can't see it. Can you see it, y'all? All right, so it's kind of looks like a disco ball or a Christmas ball. It's a ball with sequins or shiny colors. <clears throat> it's giving me like some very serious um, aqua vibes. And it kind of matches these colors. So there's something here. I don't know. It feels like it's, it's patterned. Maybe that's color tile. Somewhere in your house you might have tiles. Colors like that. But it, it feels like it's it's got like... Um, glass I'm seeing like some type of glass stained glass or glass in grout if somebody's doing something with grout or glass or maybe beads or gems or decorations making jewelry perhaps or doing something along those lines
some type of um I just see somebody placing like tile or marble or stone or some type of glass or resin or gems of some sort in some kind of base like grout of some sort or glue or something like that and then you also have this smiley face so have a nice day mother junker <laughs> yeah you've got a smiley face yeah so be happy how about that don't worry be happy yeah okay i kind of feel like I don't know, that's giving me some Forrest Gump ja uh, vibes. Jenny! Jenny! Alright, you guys, so I'm going to leave that there. Um, reading was interesting today. Can't wait for tomorrow. Looking forward to um, doing tomorrow's reading. Yes, absolutely. Um, I have like a deck of money cards, career, finance, all that stuff. It's supposed to be coming in. Hopefully, it'll come tomorrow. If not, I'll be trying to start that in November for sure. So I will let you know. Well, I won't let you know. I'll just do it and you'll know because you'll pop in and you'll see me doing it. So there you go. But I'll have a little schedule up so you guys won't get bombarded with love. You'll know what days I'll be doing the love readings and then what days I'll be doing the money and finances and career. So we, And we could just kind of focus on everything else too in life, not just the love. All right, you guys. Um, so yeah, don't forget to go over to my Moon Pie Tarot channel. I'm going to be doing the same thing over there. And um, so you'll get extra readings as well. And I'll be doing the live streams. Back with the live streams. I'm going to try and do the live streams over on the other channel too. Try to keep everything kind of cohesive. And uh, yeah, that's it. So thanks everyone for buying me coffees. I'm still getting them. I so appreciate it. You can still buy me a cup of coffee if you like. And for donating to the Rescue the Children. I'm grateful for you for doing that as well. That's still a huge, huge piece of my heart. And when you guys are able to donate to that as a, on, in the fund and give any amount, I'm super, super grateful as always every single time for that. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I will see you all back here tomorrow. Take care. Love you. Go Eagles! Bye!